Hey guys, Pin Master here. Three lessons to be taken away from UFC Orlando last night. Great fights. Uh, Desanos uh, kept his title with a first round KO over uh, Donald Cerrone. Nate Diaz put on an unbelievable fight. It was so entertaining, it was crazy. And Merry Christmas, almost coming up. Um, so I'm in front of my Christmas cheer section of the house. Um, all right, here's the three lessons. Number one, Nate Marquor against C.B. Dalloway. C.B. Dalloway is doing okay in the first round, but in the second round, he gets a little overconfident and overzealous and rushes straight in. Kind of like the way Aldo did against McGregor, straight in. You don't ever rush straight in because you're rushing straight in to a either a left or a right. So angles, angles, angles. It's not just a bar in Hawaii, guys. If you know the bar in Hawaii angles, comment below. It's one of our favorite bars in Honolulu, Hawaii. Anyway, sorry. Angles, angles, angles. You wanna come in at angles with your hands up, of course, and your chin down, but coming straight in is never, ever a good idea, okay? So, uh, C.B. Dalloway got KO'd by Nate Marquardt, uh, rushing straight in, and so that, there's the lesson learned. Don't rush straight in, come in at angles. Number two lesson, Miles Jury versus Charles Oliveira. Miles Jury, unbelievable prospect, he'll be back, he'll, he'll be up climbing the ladder again. But Charles Oliveira, jiu-jitsu expert, caught him in a standing guillotine. And it looked like right when it happened, he had a second or two to uh, get out of it real quick, but he was a little laxed in, in getting out quick. It's like when you, when you hit the bottom, you're on the ground, you wanna bounce back up. Whether you get right up or not, that's one thing, but you wanna try to get back up. Because the longer you wait, the heavier your, your, your opponent's gonna get, and the harder it's gonna be to get up. Somebody starts wrapping their arm around your neck and then you're going to wait until you wait for the defense. You don't think it's, you know, for, for whatever reason, you don't think it's dangerous. Anytime someone puts their arm around your neck, you need to respond immediately. So I think Miles waited a couple seconds too long or a split second, whatever. And next thing you know, he got choked out, tapped out. Okay. Um, the last lesson was liver, liver, liver. Dos Anjos against uh, Cerrone. Uh, all it was was a little bit of open flaring of the, of the uh, elbows and the knee to the liver started the downfall for Cerrone. Then after uh, Dos Anjos landed a really good knee to his liver, he followed it up with a beautiful kick to the liver and the fight was over. So. Elbows in tight, whether you're fighting a southpaw or orthodox, elbows should be glued to your body, especially your right, because the liver is the most painful place to get hit. So you wanna keep that, that right elbow glued to your body, okay? All it takes is this much, and a, and a kick or a knee or even a punch can land right there and end the fight. So liver, 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 protect your liver. Those are my three lessons. Thanks for coming.